Vips, whose origins are lost in the night of prehistoric time, have been recognized throughout history as the most powerful of all supermen. Their noble aim has always been to protect the weak from the oppressor. <laughs> The first VIP who appeared on Earth created the tradition that this breed is heroic, invincible, and marriageable. Through the ages, the tradition has been unbroken until the time our story begins, when Baffovip equivocated the word super, and instead of marrying a superwoman, married a girl from a supermarket. This marriage produced contemporary history's first two new supermen, Supervip and Minivip. But due to the mixed genes, these two brothers bore only a superficial resemblance to each other. Super Vip was handsome. Mini Vip, well... Super Vip was invulnerable. Mini Vip was... Super Vip could fly at supersonic speed from one planet to another. Mini Vip could only manage limited flights a few feet from the ground. Whereas Super Vip was the strongest man ever known on Earth. Minivip was the weakest Superman of all time. Here come the Vips. Here come the Vips. One is tall, rational, comprehensive. One is small, almost always defensive. Here come the VIP, VIP, this. Superman. Yeah, but man, what variations. Handsome and tall. Contrast in Bobbest is more than enough to cause trouble. If the varieties on one family tree troubles double, your mini bit. With an equity prize at a limited pace. While his brother zooms right into outer space. Great super bit. Terrifically strong. Superman. Genetic perfection. Glad you needed help and protection. That super VIP, VIP, VIP. Super brothers of special breed. They came from the same ancestral seed, but one super small. One super tall. Super V has a power that's magic. Mini V has a problem that's tragic. These are the Vips. It was a shock to the family relation that one brother's a mini creation. Myopic and small. 
<laughs> I can't do anything right, but he can do everything. Everything. What's the matter, Minivip? You haven't eaten anything or talked to anyone for the last two days. I want to be a Superman, like you. But Minnie V, you are a Superman, even if you're not like me. Then why do I have this V and these wings? Everybody expects me to be like you, and instead I can't do a super thing, not a single solitary super thing. Come along, Minnie V. I think I know some psychiatrists who might be able to help you. When did it start? What? Whatever started. Tell it in chronological order. Be as brief as possible, please. My name is This Means Nothing, and I've always envied Supervip. Does it hurt when I freak? Ouch! Would you like to be a Superman? Tell it in chronological order. Yes, I would. But as a matter of fact... I say R. Ah. You are jealous of Supervip, aren't you? Who is Supervip, man? My brother. Uh, tell us about your mother. You hated your mother, didn't you? No, I didn't. I loved... Did you ever hear strange noises? <laughs> Does this look to you like a dog or a superman? A dog. Then why do you want to be a superman? I'm not. Does everything. I think your images are confused. Take a deep breath. Are you his brother? Yes. You can come in. The patient is exhausted. He needs a long rest and a complete change. I suggest a cruise, but it would be best if he covered up and traveled incognito. You see, we suspect it's the color red that excites him. Goodbye, Mini V. Try to enjoy yourself, and remember, forget to be a VIP. I'll try, Super V. Hurry! The gangplank's going up. So long, Mini V. Be careful not to catch cold and... Keep the hat and coat on. You want to see what color my next dress is going to be? Look. Oh, lovely. A real thick green. <laughs> Every cruise. Well, hello. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, sir. Only passengers in costume at this party. Good evening, madam. Rumble dum, rumble da, more etc. Oh, whoop la, la, parabola. A turtle hurdle, clumper root, bella A pooky, funky, clumper root, elephantra, etc. Evening, sir. Never leave, never la, and etc. Algebra and the cha cha cha. Vertebrae, vertebra and insomnia. Formula, formula, more etc. Oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, attention please, an exciting event. We have among us a genuine Vic, a fascinating, fantastic man who comes perhaps from other planets. A mysterious, legendary being, invincible, invulnerable. He can go through concrete or steel as if they were butter. Here he is, folks. A big hand for the Vic. Those who want his autograph line up on my right. However, before interviewing the wondrous Vip, blood's rushing to my head. Oh, sorry. We'd like him to give us a small demonstration of his renowned invulnerability. We're going to ask him to swallow this stick of dynamite and let it explode in his stomach. <laughs> Squeamish ladies or those with weak hearts are requested to leave the room. All set, Vip. Come on, stupefiers. You saved my life. How can I thank you? That roar sounded real. A carnivorous lion. Oh, boy. Ooh, holy mackerel, that water's cold. I wonder if it has teeth. How many teeth do you have? You should have told me at once that you were a lion. A second-hand lion. What were you doing aboard the ship? Oh, you like dancing, eh? Well, I like it myself, you know. But I haven't found the right girl. The one I love, I mean. And maybe I'll never find her. Here is the latest news. A VIP, one of the famed supermen, has disappeared from the ship Annabella while cruising in the Pacific. The VIP was last seen as he jumped through a porthole, and it is now assumed that he fell into the sea. Mini V! Fish don't bite at this hour. Let's see now. This is the root. Yesterday it should have been here. Poor Mini V. Got it? Leave it, leave it. Still there? Maybe it's asleep? It's the first fish that ever smiled at me. Never mind. It means that I'll have to cut your tail.
Not a sign of a ship. Minnie! This must be the spot, but there's no trace of him here. Hallucinations are beginning. I'd better write a message. Dear whoever reads this, we need water and blankets and a motor. Yours truly, Mini Vip. Go and do your duty. This is the way to start a day. If you're asleep, you don't catch fish. Time it will be your turn to save me. Well, it seems quite a nice island. Mini V. Now let's count. The odd one out goes to look for food. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Sorry. Six always loses. While you're gone, I'll get the fire going. How on earth did they manage to make a fire with two sticks? Don't find any steak or potatoes Or even a piece of pie You need to spare Go back to the beach that's within your reach You never go hungry because of the sandwiches always there You gotta be smart, have heart When playing your part on an island So try and be wise, use your eyes To search for a tasty surprise But if you don't happen to see an edible thing on a tree around the island. Well, you don't have to care if all looks bare. You can always get the sandwiches there. And you'll find there's nothing to fear way out here on an island. Okay, it'll 
you'll catch in a minute. <laughs> Suffering Toledo, why don't you try to help with the fire instead of making such a racket? I mean, spy control. March. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. There's something down there. It's from Mini V. He's still alive. One, two, one, two. In the car. your seat belts and no smoking. Have you got a driver's license? Shut up, you flying shrimp. You. Don't you, idiot! For an excuse to fire that gadget, you'd shoot your own grandmother! What has my grandmother got to do with it? This time, I'm gonna report you to Happy Betty! Blast you! Blast you! Who is Happy Betty? She's the smartest woman in the world! Owns the HB supermarkets! 15,000 of them! All over the world! Mr. Vip. Please don't leave me. Look, I'm not a lion. An island, an abandoned dinghy, and a trail. He's there. You will protect me, won't you? It's OK, Minnie V. I've got you. We can go home now. No, no. My friend, she isn't a lion. She's a girl. She's been kidnapped. I'm a saver. Tell me again, Confucius. Who am I? <laughs> Happy Betty, the super supermarket queen, whose super super brains are super super keen. Smart boy, Confucius. Have a pep pill. Ah, Colonel's coming back. You, down there. Look out, here comes the Colonel. I think by now he'd know how to use those brakes. Stupid fool. It'll be dark in a few minutes, then I'll have a look around for Miss Lyon. No, you cover me while I look. 
After all, she's my friend. Now, let's not start that again, Minnie V. You know you're not cut out for rough stuff. When it's a matter of power, let me handle it. He was there, right behind me in the car, with the lion, then poof, he disappears. That description is right. He can't be anything but a VIP. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Shareholders committee are due tonight, and I don't want any slip-ups. Tell Schultz to increase security. What about this lion? Lock him in the tower. He might be useful for an experiment later. Are you afraid of that little VIP? Afraid? I'm not afraid of anybody. Now get going, and don't forget who I am. <laughs> Happy Betty! The super, super market queen, who super, super brain... Shut up! Up there! Go on, move! One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And if you try any funny stuff, you'll end up bald-headed. Come on, boys. I promised my wife I'd get home early. Don't fly, Minnie V. They might see your infraglow. Midnight. We wish you happy dreams in your Happy Betty pajamas. If that's the man who is taking you to Happy Betty, he should be wearing the HB badge. It's him. He's the one. The one who drove the car. Then the girl is sure to be somewhere near. Look out, Super V. A helicopter. The shareholders committee. Quick, go and meet them. Happy Betty extends you all a cordial welcome. When it's the ass. I better hurry. Wait here, Minnie V. I'll go in through the window, get the girl, and come back. I want to come too. Please, Minnie V, let's not start that again. What in tarnation is going on? I have heard a zibilant noise, like the hissing of a snake, and I have pulverized and disintegrated it. It was a very small man, like an insect, and with two red eyes which sent out flames. Stupid fool! <laughs> Miss Lyon. Miss Lyon. In 
incredible. Everything's going to plan. Only a matter of hours now to demonstrate the experiment. But that dip business makes me nervous. Get the projection room ready. And tell the committee that Happy Betty will join them shortly. I wonder where she... Maybe upstairs. Well, well, what an interesting visitor. Can I get you something? Uh, I'm looking for a lion. Lions? Lions? George, have you seen any lions around? Not lately. Sorry. Thanks, anyway. Good night. Good night. Did you see, George? A vip. I must tell Mrs. Martin right away. Mrs. Martin! <laughs> I heard one small sibilant noise. Strange. Very strange. Something fishy going on out there. Oh, you are a girl. Gosh. I guess I should have not. Another VIP? Who are you? I'm Super VIP. Mini Vip's brother. Uh-huh. There's a definite family resemblance. But what a difference in physique. Hmm. An interesting point for my thesis. Thesis? Uh-huh. I'm an anthropology major, and I'm doing my thesis on Vips. Well, that's why I followed your brother when he jumped off the ship. I wanted first-hand information. Then I got into this crazy situation. By the way, where is your brother? Mini Vip? Oh, he's waiting outside in a safe place. Strange? Very strange. This is very suspicious. An upgolded tree. Good night. <laughs> Gentlemen, we are all aware that the most important factors of modern times are advertising and publicity. Now, I have found a way of harnessing them by an ingenious method which will give me single-handed power over the international markets. Gentlemen, you are about to witness the birth of the brain missiles. Colonel, get the professor. I'm hungry. You can eat later. Right now, show these gentlemen the results of your research on man. Start the film. <coughs> this is man. Through a slow but inexorable process, he has been absorbed by civilization, which has transformed him into a different being. Here is man as he is now. Man has become almost completely automated. He crosses the road to the signal of the traffic lights. He gets up to the alarm of the clock. When raising his glass, he says, cheers. And when insulted, his reaction is always, who do you think you are? This mode of life is rapidly revolutionizing the physical structure of the human body. Outwardly, male and female are very similar. The substantive difference between the two consists in this. If, when viewed sideways, one of the two possesses curves, that one is the female. The main parts of the human body showing residual activity are four. The right hand, the right foot, the eyes, and the mouth. The right hand is to pull levers and push buttons and to carry out actions of public utility. 
the right foot is to exercise pressure on the accelerator of a car. The ideal man of the future will be born with two right legs. Eyes are for looking at television and highways. Intellectuals also use them to read book covers. The mouth is used mainly for smiling and smoking. Those who use it for speaking become politicians. Those who don't use it at all become <laughs> subtle humorists. Internally, man is very simple. He has a few organs, all numbered, whose job it is to become diseased. The most important organ is the heart, because without it, it would be impossible to tell whether a man is dead or alive. However, the most important result of my research is the discovery that this automated life has caused a partial atrophy of the brain. This organ has almost totally disappeared, leaving a considerable empty space in the skull. But I had a different concept. A small missile with an electronic remote control receiver operating on one single wavelength, controlled by one person only, can be launched into men's heads. The impact is so sharp as to be painless. Its immediate effect is to wash what's left of the brain and eliminate any residue of hostile or wicked thoughts. After that, it enters an active phase in which orders sent out on the same wavelength will encourage man to harbor only feelings of fraternity for all living things, whether human or animal, thus giving man a new possibility for That's a less enough. than... That's enough! I'm very hungry. With a little encouragement, I persuaded the professor to make some slight modifications in the missiles using the local island inhabitants for our initial experiments. My next test was a sample launching on the people of South Coniferous, where I have two markets. The impact of the missiles was timed exactly to the release of the supersonic notes of the activating theme song containing the control message. That control message, gentlemen, is Bye from Happy Betty! In under two hours, those people bought both of my super supermarkets completely empty for cash. Now I have a new rocket ready for my first major launching of thousands of brain missiles to the continent. And after that, others, larger and still more powerful, until saturation point has been reached and I control the advertising power. But to complete this colossal operation will be costly. And that is why you are here. For the present, I need financial support. Well, gentlemen, what do you say? All this is very interesting, madame. But how can we be certain that the missile will, in fact, be effective on every individual? Before we invest in this project, we must be sure that the brain missile can work effectively on superior individuals, not only on mediocre ones. For the average individual, television, radio, and movies works well enough. That's correct. He's right. He's here, Happy Betty. It's him, the left hand. A bit here? What is he doing here? I am not reading. Hi, Tom. Do it. It was secret. Fire. Mr. Edgar, grab my hand. Hi, Tom. The VIP is my answer to your question. I have him here for a final experiment to satisfy your doubts. Well, Colonel, get Schultz and find the VIP. I want him alive, and I want him quick. Come out of there, you stoop, and help me find a VIP. Oof. Put your pants on, stupid, and go search the tower while I look in the underground passages. Listen, Miss Lyon, would you like me to take you out? What a question at a time like this. Of course I would. I mean, if I were someone else, would you go with him? Oh, come on, Super Bip, let's go. 
Don't be childish. Yeah, up here is everything normal. Halt! Fire! 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 That dumped a whip tried to hide, eh? So, dressed as a mouse, eh? Very clever, Vip. Yeah. I like grapes, don't you? Hmm? Achtung! Was ist das? I hear voices. Yeah, yeah, I fire now, for saying. Der Hund, der Hund, der Hund, der Hund, der Hund. Der Licht verstanden. Gee, Miss Lyon, I bet you're the most beautiful anthropology major in the world. My name is Lisa. Oh, and my hair must be a mess. Lisa, your eyes are like sparkling jewels. Super Dip, listen. I hear something. It's Super Tasa, Klein of Ape. Jackie! Jackie! Let's go out on the terrace and look at the stars. Don't be silly. There's no terrace on this horrible cell. There isn't. Well, I can fix that. There you are. Wonderful, isn't it? What? The peace and the quiet. What's yours? Nervous Strata. Nervous Strata? Oh, don't you like it? Oh, yes, yes, I do. It's a lovely name, but why are you kept in there? See this thing in my head? I've been used by those awful people as a guinea pig for their experiment, and it hasn't worked very well on me. But it doesn't look bad on me, does it? You're beautiful. I am? Then you will get me out of here, won't you? Mm. Well, uh, certainly, uh, at, at once. It may take some time, though. 
Uh, but don't you worry, Nervous Strata. I'll get you out of there, that's for sure. Oh, but Minnie dear, you don't have to cut the bars. I can get through them, see? But, but then why? Well, it's the jump that frightens me. It's dangerous, but if you could catch me, muscles you have, Minnie Vip. I'm so weak, Minnie Vip. I need protection. And you're so strong and virile. Don't you think we make a good couple? Marvelous. So you're the strongest man in the world, eh? Well... Uh... I knew it. I was sure it would be you. Okay, let's see who's the strongest. Come on, step forward. Don't hit him too hard, Minnie Vip. He's got a long way to fall. <laughs> No, uh, Super's my brother. Come on, let's get out of here. brother's voice. Wait here. Who's there? What do you want? You! Uh, I mean the little you. Vip, the, the big one in a cellar. Big one, small one, anyone. Vip, doesn't matter. I'll kill any size. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was my brother. Ah, you little squirt. I've got you. Let him alone, you big bully. Help! Now it sounds like a woman's voice. Ah, you wriggling superworm. I'll squash you for good. Do you mind letting go of my brother? <laughs> Minnie Vip, you were wonderful. Wasn't he, sir? He certainly was, but he shouldn't have come in here. And the next thing to do is to get you out as fast as we can. I'll take the girls to a safe place and then come back for you. Safe place? Where? To the beach. No one will look for them there. The beach, huh? Come on, Lisa. All set, girls? 
We're off. This time I'll get him. There you are, girls. Safe and sound. Oh, the sea. Isn't it beautiful? And all those pretty little birds. Oh, look, a butterfly. What lovely colors. Better not wander, miss. It isn't safe. Don't worry, sir. I'll stay right here. Right little beauty you are. Hmm, yes. That should be a safe place. What's going on up there? hot. I bet, especially in that outfit you're wearing. Hey, you know what? I can take this off and have a swim till you get back. Do you think it would be okay, Super Vip? I guess so, but be careful not to go too far out. <laughs> Silly boy. I can swim like a fish, especially without this costume. What's the matter, Super Vip? Are you all right? Lisa? Lisa, I love you. Well? Well? Lisa? Lisa? Well? Oh, never mind. I love you, too. Oh! <laughs> be him. As promised, gentlemen, I have captured a VIP. The Superman of Supermen. Schultz, show the gentleman. <laughs> you have forgotten who I am. Happy Betty, the Super... Before carrying out the experiment on him, which will prove to you that my invention works perfectly, even on super brains, I would like to show you something unique. Gentlemen, you are about to see Missile Base Happy Betty. gentlemen is only the outside. In a moment, we'll have a brief tour of the works. Schultz, take Vip to the experiment room. All right, gentlemen, let's go. Nervous 
Estrada. Oh, don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. What a lot of lovely flowers there are. I wish I could pick them all. Here it is. The marvelous small steel city where the consumer destinies of future human generations are forged. Its working population is 100,000 strong. A million six hundred thousand fingers working incessantly at our great project. Excuse me. You mean one million fingers? I mean what I said. Our bioelectronic laboratory has been able to create collaborators with an eight-finger hand. Marvelous. And how do you manage to discipline such an enormous workforce? By taking advantage of the most modern methods of industrialization and safeguarding each individual's personality. For example. After deducting part of their wages, we provide meals for our collaborators. Not the usual fixed menu, but a free choice. Butter. Each guest can have his grain of rice with either butter, ketchup, or onion sauce. Ketchup. Furthermore, we see to it that our collaborators get a good, relaxing rest. After deducting part of their wages, we allow them to use an apparatus which gives immediate, deep, and healthy sleep. When, after a few minutes of such special rest, our collaborators wake up ready to go back to their work. They are conveyed by mechanical means to avoid loss of energy. The collaborators have some way of entertaining themselves? Why, yes. After deducting a small sum from their wages, we offer them the use of the pot specially created for them with a particularly gay atmosphere. And where the collaborators can instantly satisfy their various and varied, um, venal appetites. What about vacations? Short, intensive, exciting, healthy. Our collaborators are given the opportunity to see the most beautiful sights in the world, while international artists sing and dance to their local music. There is also special apparatus to provide sunbathing and for local souvenirs. Do you provide medical attention? Of course. No bureaucratic delay or a lack of interest here. Attention is immediate and categoric. Each illness is tackled decisively and rapidly carried to its solution. Now let's see if you can swim. <laughs> Come on, good-looking. I'll let you in, too. 
And then this handsome man named Minnie Vip came along and rescued me from prison. Boy, you gotta hand it to Happy Betty. If you please, miss, step right in. And now, for some maximum security measures. proceed to the production area. The supporting part of the missile is plunged into a fusion at 1,400 degrees. When the arm of the special expert in charge falls off, we know that the temperature of the metal bath is correct. In another department, the missile undergoes a test for heat resistance. The technician, after swallowing a mixture of gases, proceeds to the rigorous test. Unfortunately, we lose one match at each test. This custom of bowing causes loss of approximately 15% in productivity. On the other hand, the problem of going to the washroom has been brilliantly solved. As you know, gentlemen, this arbitrary and uncontrollable break in the work pattern is of capital importance in a large plant. And our research department has solved it by strategic placement of a running generator which stops from time to time, giving out charges of 600 volts. And this inspires our collaborators not to waste time and prevents them from lingering longer than necessary. Marvelous. If we had had something of the kind at the time, perhaps we would not have lost the war. <laughs> That's that. To return to the actual making of the missile. At this point, the electronic brain produced in cans by a secret process is grafted on the missile head. And the whole thing is thoroughly sterilized. After which, it is ready to be fitted into its final shell. The brain missiles are then taken to the great rocket, which can house up to 15,000, and which is ready on the launching pad. The rocket goes up. The small missiles detach themselves, and by means of the electronic eye are directed automatically towards the people on all continents. This rocket cannot be picked up by radar because it is motorless. Ninety specialized collaborators who pedal with all their might activate a propeller which projects the rocket into space. The first rocket in history to work without a carburetor. And now, gentlemen, let's go back to our friend, the VIP. And to his new gold-plated brain. Look at it carefully, VIP. See? We had your name engraved on it. One, two, one, two. I caught the VIP, okay? I got him locked in a safe. See? Be quiet, you idiot. I captured the VIP, not you. Help! Yeah! Help! Mother! Follow me away!
gosh, it's dark. Where am I? Oh, at last. I see a lot of little hearts. Super Vip, get us out of here. We are locked inside a safe. Inside a safe? Where? Why? Here I am, Super V. I'm coming. Mini V. Listen to me, Vip. This is Happy Betty speaking. Running or hiding won't help you. The missile will reach you wherever you are, for the simple reason that you are the only one on the island without special protective cover. All the others are safe inside our base. In a few seconds, the missile will be firmly planted in your super square head, and you'll come meekly back here, asking me for instruction. Huh? See you soon, Ip. Hey, girls, don't worry. I'll get you out. Did it. Man, what a kiss. What a kiss. Hearts swirling around. Mmm, what a kiss. Boy, oh boy. Next time I better send it to you by telegram. Oh, good. Here's my suit and my belt. It was Minnie Vip who saved us all from those terrible men. It was. Wasn't it, Miss Lion? Minnie Vip, where is he? Minnie Vip? <laughs> If I were you, I wouldn't worry too much. Up to now, he seems to be doing fine, all by his many selves. Mm, you might be right. Maybe I've underrated him. But then again, maybe I haven't. I'd better reconnoiter and make sure. Mini Vip! Let him alone! Well, you automated banana, are you through? How was it? A little too bony, but not bad. There you are, gentlemen. Success. This signal indicates that the missile has hit its target. And now even the invincible Vip has become one of our devoted clients. Mm, uh, yes, uh, very good, but... Uh, I think rather it should be under our direct control. Intolerable insolence! You seem to have forgotten who I am. What? Happy Betty, the super... The Supreme Rocket will be launched in a matter of minutes. There is no time left to discuss stupid and useless controls. You'll have to make up your minds right now. Well... Okay, we agree. Congratulations. You made the right decision. Colleagues, slaves, worms, this is Happy Betty speaking to you to announce that the countdown will start in a few minutes. When our creation starts lifting itself into the sky, advertising will become a pure science. 
posters, films, and radio commercials will be useless because there will be no more doubts on the part of the consumer as to what to choose. They will forever buy only Happy Betty products. After this rocket, others increasingly powerful will follow because a cartel of international shareholders have now decided to finance my colossal project. Long live Betty! 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 Long live Betty. Long live Betty. Long live Betty. Clear the launching pad. I will start the countdown at once. Hurry, Minnie V. Hurry! You remember which way it was? Uh, that way. Uh, no, uh, that way. No, wait, uh, maybe... Uh... Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. I must find it. Six. Five. Four. Three. Good, here it is. Two. One. Done, young lady. There you are. This way it won't bother you anymore. Bye from Happy Betty. Bye, bye, bye. Bye from Happy Betty. You must spend, spend, spend. Bye from Happy Betty. It's the trend, trend, trend. When you're out of money, you must spend, spend, spend. Every effort into making more to spend. Happy Betty, always shop, shop, shop For super solar syrup by the drop, drop, drop Happy Betty's merchandise is top, top, top So keep on buying, you must never stop Happy Betty's best for anything you want to eat Happy Betty's best for shoes to wear upon your feet Happy Betty's far the best by any test for all the rest of sales clinching Any pinching Labor saving Patio paving Incoming Outgoing Budget wrecking Back breaking Cooking Sweeping Cleaning Sleeping Articles you buy from Happy Betty Dry, dry, dry. The last thing you must do before you die, die, die is to struggle out and make a final buy. Happy Betty's is the store where you get more of things you use for mixing, fixing, steaming, steaming, winding, grinding, hide behind it, looping, grouping, standing, snooping, indo, outdoor, Oscar pooping, washing, slushing, milking, milking, everything you buy from Happy Betty's. Well, that's it. The show's over. Let's go. Uh, you go ahead, Super V. We'll follow in the helicopter. Lovely ride, Super V. Um, can I pay my fare in super kisses? Oh, take it easy, Lisa. Things melt up here. Lisa, be... 
Lisa! Oh, how awful. Look, Minifib. Could it be one of Happy Betty's missiles? No, it's something even more powerful. It's love. Are you really a Superman? You know, Minifip, you're wonderful. Without your help, that fellow would have been killed at least 20 times. Hmm. You must try to remember, Nerva Strata. He's my brother. Oh? Yes, of course. Well, I hope he realizes how lucky he is to have a super brother like you. Biddle-da, biddle-da, and it's a girl Twizzle-dee, twizzle-da, and a boom pa pa Oh la li, oh la la, and a ha 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 Rumble-dum, rumble-da, 